Okay, welcome back to the uh, Avalon Zelena renovation series. Uh, in this uh, video, it's a very short video, I just want to discuss the wall trim, just some small details. Um, now this is the project plan, again, as usual, I'm <laughs> making slight revisions as we go, kind of breaking things down uh, as the order comes in. Some steps are being done in parallel, like the um, you know, the tiles and the wall trim were actually done in parallel, you know, so, but it's hard to, for me to put that in this display. But I think at the end, I'll maybe show what's a critical path and what, what items can be done in, in um, parallel. Uh, so right now the wall trim is done and I actually separated wall trim and then the baseboard and ceiling trim that comes after the wood flooring because it's two different jobs. It can't all be lumped together because that comes in after painting and after the wood flooring goes down and wall trim has to be done before the painting. So we are getting better as we um, progress to, to actually document and break this down so that by the end of this series, we'll actually have a, a, a project plan that can really work and be reproduced and used as a template for any you know, new apartment finishing. You know, and then people can uh, maybe drop some steps if they don't want wall trim or they can add some steps if they want something, we'll find a perfect place to fit it in. Um, so yeah, we'll get on with it and then let me just, or just wait, I wanted to sh show you, um, yeah, and the closets too, I separated that step out, the entry and bedroom closets have been separated out from the interior doors, because that's a self-standing step, those can actually even come in next year if we wanted, you know, um, but I would like to get them done, because I think they'll have electrical work inside of them, you know, so we have to get that done before um, doing the, um, putting in the fixtures and everything, that they'll have lights or something in the closets. And then, you know, bathroom completion, you know, is uh, in progress as well. But I just put that here at the end because, you know, the electrical and all these other things, cabinets and these things have to be, um, have to be made. So, all right, then we'll go to the next slide. So, uh, Yarina contacted me to choose uh, the style of wall trim. I didn't know there were so many variations of this. You know, I'd never done wall trim before, but I wanted to get fancy in this apartment. But they come in many different measurements and many different uh, um, materials. So we got this uh, polymer. It's kind of like a plastic versus wood. I think it's uh, better, you know, to deal with moisture. You know, it won't swell and shrink and you know crack and all these things. So it's better to use some composite materials. I think it's probably even made out of recycled materials. And so it comes in looking like this. It's a lot of it's a lot of work. It's actually a craft in itself. The person who does this. Um, it's specialized in this work. It's, um, so here you can see they've drawn a lot of lines and then they're putting up these um, you know, little trim things here. And this is something you can get in Ukraine and it's not too terribly expensive, but this costs a fortune to do in like most other Western countries. So you know, I, would, I would spend the money. I think it only cost me a couple hundred bucks. And it looks really nice and it adds a lot to the, the apartment. I didn't get it in the small bedroom. There's a little bit of miscommunication. I thought we were going to get it there, but we didn't, but I can get it later. And anyway, I was going to use a small bedroom as an office. It doesn't need to be so English looking or so, you know, hoity-toity looking like the rest of the place. Um, and you can see that you're using lasers, lasers to um, mark the walls and everything. And so you can see they cut everything to a 45 degree angle, you know, measurement is everything. You know, and um, they're very, very precise work. You know how they how they did this, and here it's looking quite nice. It really, it really does add a lot to the room. And I would say, like I say, if you're getting an apartment in Ukraine or any other country where labor isn't too terribly expensive, I would, I would do this, because you, you know, to to do this back in America or do this in Norway, where I'm living now, or in Germany, it's 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 costly. Um, and then here uh, we'll play some videos. You know, um, and you can see that they done some painting on this. I think this is primer paint or something they've done. They're still working on it here. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. I'll just uh, seize this video and start this one. And yeah, you can see here now they finished it and they worked around all the electrical fixtures and the workers are keeping the job site clean. You can see that in the videos. I made a lot of uh, a lot of uh, stink about that to keep everything clean and so that way they work and they don't lose tools and things don't get contaminated and it'll, it'll be a lot easier when I move in to get, get it cleaned as well that they're cleaning as they're going. We're not getting big piles of dust and everything. So 
so um, click through this. So that's all I have for the, the wall trim step. Um, it is a distinguished, definable step in the project. Um, and you know, like I said, I would highly recommend getting it if you're going to do an apartment project in Ukraine. It, it's, it's really nice. Thank you. Bye.